install the electrical and electronics engineering android app from the link in the comment section below in this video we will see an example on phasers question transform the following sinusoids to phasers so we have to convert this sinusoids into phasers solution first of all we will solve this problem let's copy this from here now the standard form is whatever if it is a voltage then i of t is equal to if it is a current then i of t is equal to i m cos omega t plus phi and if it is a voltage then v of t is equal to v m cos omega t plus phi now here this is not in standard form because here it is negative so first we will convert this minus cos to plus cos so again let's go to the basics this is plus cos omega t and this is plus sin omega t this is minus sin omega t and this is minus cos omega t now we have to convert minus cos to plus cos that means from here to here so if we move in this direction then we have to add 180 degree to it because this direction is the leading direction so the formula will be cos omega t plus 180 degree is equal to minus cos omega t so let's solve this by using this formula so it will be 20 cos 20 cos 4t plus 135 degree 4t plus 135 degree now here we have changed this sign from minus to plus and we that's why we have to add 180 degree here so let's add 180 degree now this will be 20 cos 4t and this is 135 plus 135 plus 180 degree so it is 315 so plus 315 degree now this is the standard form of sinusoids so we can easily convert this sinusoids sinusoids to phasors so it will be 20 at an angle 315 degree and this is the phasor form so therefore this is equal to this is equal to this value 20 at an angle 315 degree next is problem b so let's copy this from here now again this is not in standard form here it is in sine form and we have to convert this into cosine form so to convert from sine to cosine this is plus cos omega t this is minus cos omega t this is plus sin omega t and this is minus sin omega t now we have to convert from sin to cosine so here if we move from here to here then this direction is the opposite direction that means the angle will be minus 90 degree here that means cos 
ओमेगा टी माइनस नाइन्टी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू साइन ओमेगा टी कॉस ओमेगा टी माइनस नाइन्टी डिग्री इज इक्वल टू साइन ओमेगा टी सो हेयर टू कन्वर्ट दिस फ्रॉम साइन टू को साइन इट विल बी एट कॉस ट्वेंटी टी प्लस थर्टी डिग्री नाउ हेयर वी वी हैव चेंज फ्रॉम साइन टू को साइन सो वी हैव टू एड माइनस नाइन्टी डिग्री सो माइनस नाइन्टी डिग्री नाउ दिस विल बी एट कॉस ट्वेंटी टी एंड हेयर दिस इज थर्टी डिग्री माइनस नाइन्टी डिग्री सो इट इज माइनस सिक्सटी डिग्री नाउ दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑफ साइनोसाइड्स सो इट्स इक्विवेलेंट फेजर फॉर्म विल बी एट एट एन एंगल माइनस सिक्सटी डिग्री सो दिस इज द फेजर फॉर्म सो दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस वैल्यू Now next problem is problem C. Now here we have to add these two functions. Now here for this it will be. Let's copy this from here first. So it will be C cos. This two t minus theta. Now this c is equal to under root of this fifteen square plus twenty square. So it will be under root of fifteen square plus twenty square. So it is twenty five, and this theta is equal to. Ten inverse of fifteen by twenty. Fifteen divided by twenty. So ten inverse of fifteen divided by twenty. So it is thirty six point eight six. Thirty six point eight six degree. So this is equal to. We can write this as. In place of C, it is twenty five cos two t minus theta value is thirty six point eight six degree. Now, this is the standard sinusoid form, so we can convert this into phasors. So it will be this is equal to twenty five at an angle. Minus thirty six point eight six degree. So this is the final answer in phasor form, and this is how we can convert sinusoids to phasors. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.